What is good, everybody? Welcome live to WrestleMania 40, man. We're here at the Mattel booth here at WrestleMania 40, the Superstore. Originally, I thought this was at WWE World, but it is at the Superstore, and hopefully the audio is all clear, man. But the figure reveals have been insane today, and I've been walking around this place for five or six hours now, and I'm just now getting to a point where I can actually film the reveals. So I'm going to go case by case, man. There's a lot to cover. I'll probably, I'll try to limit myself. I don't want this video to be, you know, an hour long, but we're going to dive into it, man. Let's shut the hell up and get into it. We do have our SummerSlam Elite build-up figure here with our WrestleMania build-up figure, Nicholas. You know, all these figures I think are waiting at my house right now to review, but they are right here. You got the cane in there. We also have a shot of Elite 109 Seth Rollins. The championship looks amazing. I think that the size is improved. It looks a lot better than the win image and the gold looks really good I, li I like the figure i think it looks really really solid over here on this side we do have a leaf 109 cody rhodes now you will see that the tattoo is on the head sculpt and it is a little bit on the shirt i think that's going to be improved though or fixed and nothing a little white paint can't fix but i love this i love that they did a suited cody it's not in a winter coat which is such a w there for us you know the the aew match one was in the long coat so that's nice you have top picks logan paul and the then now forever together four pack rocky and beyond that you'll see solo sakoa but he's in his elite 104 gear and this is going to be the top picks solo Sokoa figure that we've kind of known about but it's the elite 104 trunks with the elite 107 torso so that's really nice to see and then coming forward we do have some different things this diorama here is really cool this is sort of like an homage to rocky and so it kind of is cool because it's the rock so it kind of all just plays together here but we have the my bf family three pack and this is supposed to be you know like rocky balboa and it's a diorama there so really cool i think that's really unique that they did that then you have the street with the different things that's really unique i think but coming down the middle all stuff we've seen before you know nothing too special here in the middle with chelsea green la night we just reviewed those on the channel we also have this car we have the low rider with the hydraulics with the ray mysterio with the necklace i look how cool it's like a three gear ray mysterio in the low rider which is something we've been begging for kind of for years right so i love that we got the low rider i kind of wish it came with a Eddie Guerrero, but I do believe this is the car he came out at WrestleMania 39 in, if I'm not mistaken. But that looks really cool. I guess this is going to be the next slam vehicle. And then over here, we do have the Judgment Day. Now, a lot of things to say about the Judgment Day. I think Damian Priest looks really good. A lot of sculpts going on in his figure. You have Elite 109 Dominic, which looks good. We've seen him for a while now. And then we do have Elite 110 Finn Balor here. I think it's Elite 111, actually. But this is from SummerSlam, I think. But they're using that same pissed off, gritting head sculpt, which I don't necessarily hate the head sculpt. It's painted well. It's just I wish that we got the faded tapered beard. I've been begging for it forever. We still haven't seen it. You'll also notice Elite 110 Roman Reigns is not out here, which does mean, you know, they're going to do reveals Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with a panel with CM Punk. So I imagine that we're going to see that 110 Roman from Elite Series 110. Hopefully that'll be the case. But this is kind of a repaint of Elite 107, but it does look damn good. I like the jacket. I hate the skinny legs, but at least the gear's good. And it has the white Jordans on instead of the black. It's okay. I'll probably head swap it or do something, but I'm still waiting on a damn Finn Balor with the tapered beard. We'll see what happens, but we do have Elite 110 Mommy here. Beautiful looking figure, man. Best women's elite possibly ever. I love the white. I love the purple. She has most of her tattoos. Wish it had the sternum tat, but I think it looks really good. I like that they have arm muscles in there. You know, I talked about the Chelsea Green and how a lot of women's figures have one continuous arm mold. Well, on this Rhea Ripley, she does have bigger arms and whatnot. Broader shoulders, all those different things. So that figure looks really damn good. And then we move forward, man. We do have Elite 109 Shinsuke. Fantastic looking head sculpt on that Shinsuke Nakamura. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. And then we have Elite 111 Sandman here in the white ECW shirt. Not the gear that I would have went with, and he does have the Cena shoe mold, which is bummy, but nothing a little deluxe aggression shoes from John Cena can't fix. He also comes with beer cans. He has barbed wire, kendo stick. This is a figure that I'm highly anticipating. You know, you can fix it up. You guys will see also he's the chase figure. So if you come on this side, you'll see that he's got the American pants. You can make a Rex Kwando out of that or something. I'm hyped for the Sandman. Regardless of what it is, I'm, I'm absolutely buying Sandman. That just means that more Sandmans are going to come. And then right here, we do have Royal Rumble Elite Cody. I think it's Royal Rumble Elite Cody, but this is the gear that we've been waiting on. And he does have the white gear in here. Beautiful gear, beautiful figure. Can't wait for that one. And I do believe this head sculpt is new. It's kind of like a... I don't know, it's kind of a, like, kind of holding back to speak sort of head sculpt, but we also have Tony D'Angelo here with his goods on. This is a great looking jacket, man. He does have, there is a lot of, I've seen a lot of John Cena shoe mold, which pisses me off, but Tony D'Angelo looks pretty damn good right here, man. I think an underrated reveal has got to be this ricochet, man. Look at this ricochet. 
look at this cloth goods right here. I mean, you could put that on so many different characters. So, yeah, I mean, I could see people putting that on Cody figures. So I think that looks really damn good. Solid head sculpt. He he looks good, man. I'm, I'm excited for this Ricochet. I think it's one of the most underrated figures. Oh, my God. It's that Johnny Gargano syndrome. Holy crap. I'm just seeing that. That is so abysmal. God dang it. I was just praising this figure, and then they dropped that shit on me. You hate to see that. All right. Well, it's still a beautiful figure. We'll fix that on surgery. But we also have Elite 109 Bailey. Very modern looking Bailey. Very good looking Bailey here. I like the new modern Bailey with the head sculpt. She's got the t shirt on there as well. She's got the thumbs down. Great looking head sculpt. You know, I feel like Bailey's one of those that they can't seem to get right, but they did her right right here. I think she looks really good there. And then the last figure up front, guys, is going to be Elite 1. I can't remember if it's Elite 110 or 111. It's Trish. And I do believe it's Elite 110, but the head sculpt looks really good. This is a really good modern Trish here with the fur coat. Good looking head sculpt. I like it. I think they did a good job there on Trish. It is another black gear, which we've seen so many times. But we finished it up right here with the bloodline at the top and the top right. And now we're going on this other side of this cabinet. We finally have a look at the headbangers. These are going to be Elite Tag Team 2-packs that are going to be exclusive to Mattel Creations. So this is going to be a 2-pack. This is going to be a 2-pack. And the Imperium are also going to be a 2-pack. So we're getting, we're getting the headbangers here, figures we've waited forever on. Cloth goods, great-looking head sculpts, tag team titles. They got their kilts in there. Uh, just some guys that we've been waiting on for a very long time. I'm excited to finally have them. And then we also have the Dudley boys here with their tie-dye shirts. And they're very early prototypes and test shots, right? But they do have very unique molds. You can see the overalls on Devon. It comes with a table. I mean, this is some Dudleys that we've been waiting on. And I'm pretty sure that shirt that, Dud that, uh, that Bubba Ray has on is going to be no Velcro. So we're seeing a lot of no Velcro here today as well. And then the last tag team pack we have is Imperium, which we've already seen at the Mattel Creations live stream, so this is really good to see. They come with cloth goods, and I think they were supposed to come with tag titles, like NXT tag titles, but it ended up not having them. But if we come back over here, we will see the Survivor Series elites here. We do have the Bushwhackers in the Doink face paint. Not something I would have expected. I also think that they're going to come with interchangeable heads, right? I just think that those guys would rot if they don't, and we'll see about that. You know, the Survivor Series elites do look good here, though. We also have Sami Zayn in his War Games gear, in the all red, which looks really, really clean. I like that head sculpt. It looks better than the Ultimate, to be honest. I actually like that better than the Ultimate with the, you know, the Sammy Uso gear. And then we also have Kevin Owens here in the Dusty Rhodes Tribute attire, which is beautiful. I really like this. I, You know, we talked about the Ultimate Edition being in the Mania gear, and then the Elite probably being in this gear, and it all being soft here. Very cool and unique figure, so I like the Kevin Owens here in pants. And then over here we do have the Legends of the Territory 4-pack with Harley Race, Billy Graham, you have Muhammad Ali, and Gorilla Monsoon. Beautiful looking pack. Can't wait to see exactly how these feel in hand. But I'm excited for that Muhammad Ali. I mean, I'm excited for the whole pack, but the Muhammad Ali with the unique suit mold is been beautiful. And here in the middle we do have the Mattel Creations LWO 5-pack. These look really good. I mean, these look like they're ready to launch, man. You have Rey Mysterio, you have Queen Zelina or Zelina Vega, and then you do have the rest of the LWO back here, which look really good. I think all the colors look good and everything, man. So I'm excited for this five pack. And then we do have the From the Vault series over here with John Cena. We have Kane and the Full Wave, which is a really sweet wave. I can't wait to see who else comes in this set. We haven't seen the Defining Moments pack yet, you know, the next Defining Moments pack, but I'm so intrigued and happy to find out, you know, what's coming, man. But From the Vault series does look damn good. But this pack back here is probably the thing I'm most looking forward to, and that has got to be the SmackDown four-pack from the Ruthless Aggression area. This SmackDown four-pack right here, man, this Ruthless Aggression, this is one of the baddest-ass things they've ever done, man. You have the Brian Urlacher jersey, John Cena. Now, it's not accurate, right? It doesn't have any of the orange from the Chicago Bears, but it still has the cheat to win Eddie, and I don't like that they didn't use the Shad or JTG feet that would have been Tim's, because John Cena wore Tim's in that match, and he just has regular boots here. I really wish they would have used the Tim mold, because they don't use that mold a lot, and they have access to it, so it would have been a perfect chef's kiss to this figure, but I'm still super hyped for this man it looks absolutely beautiful and then you have grocery store stone cold and booker t this is a dream man one of my favorite moments as a kid you know growing up watching wrestling and to have it in figure form is beautiful and to add another stone cold steve also in, in blue george you know i gave them crap about that and to finally have that and he comes with a milk jug and he comes with a mustard bottle i really wish he would come with like a milk soaked head sculpt or something you know to really throw it over the top like you know hey book got milk And then he drains his face and his shirt gets soaking wet. That would have been beautiful. But I still like everything going on here, man. That pack right there made my entire weekend. But let's move on to our next booth. Hey, guys, we're here at WrestleMania 40. And I ran into my buddy Vincent. And he wants to say what's up on the channel. So I figured I'd let him in the video. Come subscribe. 
like the video. I appreciate you, buddy. Huge shout out to Vincent. Yes, here we have the Coliseum Collection case. Now you're gonna see some old ones, right? Rick Rude, Jake the Snake, Hulk Hogan, Terry Fong, but we do have Series 5 up here, man. And it really shows off what we're getting here with Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, what we're getting with Ted DiBiase. You have that black suit, which looks immaculate. I love the laughing head sculpt. We do have the heart foundation here. You got Roddy in the back. Beautiful stuff, man. You get a look at his suited figure and a look without the suit, which I like. I like the formula there on Ted DiBiase. I like the formula there on uh, on Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. So this is a pretty cool one, kind of bare, but we did, you know, we already knew these were coming, but it is cool to see them in person, see what they're about. And the Ted DiBiase suit looks absolutely incredible. So I'm all for Coliseum Collection. All right, so here's the Ultimate Edition case over here. We have a look at Ultimate Edition Series 21, Cody Rhodes. We broke this down on the channel already. You know, the images, the coat has the black in there. You have the new boot mold and it has the weight belt, which I don't really care for, but the figure does look good in person, I must say. And behind there, we do have the Greatest Hits Batista Ultimate Edition. Now, we thought that this is going to be a re-release of the Target exclusive, and you will see similar accessories, right? The Raw contract, the SmackDown contract, the World Heavyweight Championship, the t-shirt's the same, but they did repaint it, so that's actually a nice repaint right there. So the figure is different for those that miss out, or they want to grab an extra Batista. I'm all for Batista figures, so that is nice to see. And up front, man, we do have Ultimate Edition Series 22 John Cena. Now, I didn't expect it to be a modern gear, but it is a modern gear. You have the towel in there. It has the velcro shirt, and it is all modern day, which I'm not the biggest fan of. However, you will see that he does have a new shoe mold down here. And on the shoe mold, they're saying that apparently this one's going to be phased out pretty quickly. So, uh, I don't know. They're going to they're gonna switch it up. But you'll also see that he's got the short shorts, but with the new shoe mold, which is something we've never seen before. They've never gone with the short shorts with this shoe mold. It's a brand new shoe mold. So, I'm intrigued to see how it stands. It does look very similar to the old shoe mold. However, it is different. So, we're going to see. Maybe it's thicker. It poses better. But I do like the goods. I just wish it was a flashback scene instead of a modern day. But it still looks good. I'm excited for it. We'll see. We also have the Ringside Exclusive Outsider Ultimate Edition 2-pack available at Ringside Collectibles. It is exclusive over there. These look really good, man. I'm intrigued. I think all the... They come with so many accessories that it's ridiculous but i am hyped for these intrigued to see where we go from there we also have Sami Zayn here in person again we did talk about ultimate edition series 21 with ko sammy and cody but these look pretty good in person they look better than the images but uh, i still feel the same way about the head stuff i don't really care for that it kind of looks like thor i do like the new torso and the wrestle zany and all that but then kevin owens does look good i like the screaming expression and all those different things so that looks pretty damn good and then here we have a look a first look at the ultimate edition fan takeover seth rollins a year in the making man a year in the making finally getting to see it here it looks beautiful it's a beautiful looking figure i am very very excited for the way it turned out man they did a great job here i like all the details i wish the glass Glasses were clear, but it's still a fantastic piece. Very, very unique going on here with this Rollins. It's going to be one of the top ultimates of the year for sure. And one thing also is if you look down here, we have the Cast Your Boat fan takeover John Cena coming and Randy Orton. So I'm guessing at WrestleMania 41, we'll see the Randy Orton regardless of the boat. If I had to pick, I'd probably say Rumble 24 or WrestleMania 34. We already have this in elite form. And then I also believe that, you know, the, the first release of this figure in elite form was dog shit. So I really want to see uh, a re-release of that. I think they could do it way better and better justice. And then on John Cena, WrestleMania 23. Now, originally we thought it was going to be Backlash of 7. But I think that WrestleMania 23 needs to be remade because both that figure and this figure both came in the WrestleMania 34 set, and they were terrible figures. They weren't good. The shirt was too small. You know, it didn't have it had painted on armbands. The details of the paint weren't good. It lacked a lot of details. So they could redo this figure a whole lot better. The, the Elite Seven's fine. Just put it in greatest hits. And then this is going to be missing all the logos, right? So it won't have the Knicks on it. It won't have Mitchell and Ness. It won't have the Trans Am and the Nintendo logos. So why even get that, man? Leave that to customization. Vote for this one, and I think all will be right in the world. We can get these armbands on here. I hate that it's not Backlash 07, but we'll, I guess we'll I just have to build a bridge and get over it. But that's what my thoughts are on the Fan Takeover Ultimate Edition picks. And then we also have Jey Uso here in the same set as Gunther and John Cena. It's going to be Ultimate Edition Series 22, but the Gunther in the brown looks really good. I like these head sculpts, everything going on. I like the formula as well. So Gunther looks good. He's going to match the, the Imperium Elite 2 pack, which is nice. And then we do have the real chief, Jey Uso. I know a lot of people are pissed off it's not a Yeet or a main event Uso, but you know, these figures are, they take a year to make, so I understand it, it is SummerSlam. Uh, it'll still be a good figure. A lot of reuse there, but it's still cool. Cool repaint stuff. And then we do have the Greatest Hits Rock figure, Ultimate Edition here, which looks nice. It is going to be the Amazon figure, but with butterfly joints. So it'll be red trunks and all that different stuff. But that is the Ultimate Edition case here uh, for the like mainline Ultimate Editions or Greatest Hits. And then over here, man, we do have the Legends 
case, man. And we have some new Ultimate Edition, some new Legend Series, which I'm pretty impressed with, man. Oh, poor Vader. So we do have a regular edition in a chase. And so you guys will see there, there's like a black version and then the black and red. So it's kind of crazy we're getting these Legends Ultimate Editions, but we do have an unmasked Vader, which I I think we've only seen that once before, but that is a new head sculpt, if I'm not mistaken. He's got the removable mask and everything. Looks pretty good. And then uh, we do have a look at that new Legends Undertaker, which looks really good. You can't really see his face, but I do like the new gloved hands. I think that's very unique that they got that sculpt in there. And then we have an Ultimate Edition Dusty Rhodes coming soon, which I know a lot of people will be excited for. So we're getting Dusty in the line, then the Yokozuna figure, which we've known about for a while. You know, we got to see it way back when, and then it was shown off at Comic-Con. So I'm sure those have to be hitting relatively soon, if I if I had to guess. But then we also have the Tugboat here, which is kind of a re-release of the Elite 44 Tugboat, adding into the Legends line. I can't believe we have this anvil right here, man. This is, this is nuts, man. This may be the most craziest reveal that we've seen with uh, what we have going on here, man. I can't believe, I cannot believe some of these Legends figures that we had showing off, man. So we are getting some re-release. We have some Ichiban Hogan. So we have Elite Legends Series 22, Series 23. We have a new Hogan here. I do believe these are gonna be Series 24, if I'm not mistaken. You got Farouk up front as well. And then we also have this Kurt Angle, which is an angle I've been waiting on. I think it'd be cool if he came with the blue jogging pants. That would be something I'd like to see. But the It's True, It's True shirt is something I've been waiting on for a long time. And that's one of my favorite gears that he's ever worn. So I'm all in on this Kurt Angle. I do wish that he also had the, you know, my favorite boots, the red, white, and blue ones. Not the red and white, but the ones that are like paneled with the red shoe tips. That's the ones I really want. But, you know, I'll take this. Another angle is all money for me, but plenty of legends in here we have a shot of the new elite series 23 or legend series 23 jamal and rosie with their jerseys i love the size of the jerseys i like their glove details and the same thing on the john cena they captured those mid-2000s football gloves the newman football gloves they did a great job replicating those we have a new irs right here with double jointed arms they're really just you know we're getting a lot of re-releases man but they i feel like a lot of it's needed so they've done a really good job captain lou ultimate warrior returning back he's got his tan in there and then we also have booker t which is the elite 14 booker t if i'm not mistaken and we do have the sultan so a lot of great legends figures right here man i was excited to see all of these on display it's just so much product man and there's still more to come but we can move over here to the main events or the basic case and uh we do have some different two packs now we did already know about these so i'm not going to spend a lot of time on these we do have the world championship here on this braun breaker figure which looks really good for a basic championship i think we have this new Cena with sculpted on armbands, which I recommended to uh, put those on basics so that people buy it and put it on their elites. That Rey Mysterio looks pretty good. On the other side, we do have a look at the new Undisputed Championship, which doesn't look very good, right? I mean, it's missing some details in the, in the W, but the John Cena looks good. I really wish those armbands were removable, like the wristbands so you could make it into an elite. But moving down, we have this new Kane basic. We have Rollins here with the championship too. All the championships have looked really good, man. I, I've been pretty impressed with how the championships look. But then the rest of the display is just kind of littered with different figures from different basic waves. But we got to get into probably the best basic they showed off this week. And that's got to be the John Cena invisible figure, man. Something that I also pitched back in the day. I don't know if they're listening. I'm just saying what I've talked to them about directly. But having the wristbands that are sculpted on, you have the hat. And I like that they made the clothes something you can see but then the skin tone is see-through so that it you know it's like floating clothes it would have been cool if the whole thing was clear plastic maybe that's something they could explore in the future but as a basic this is a genius figure um and we also have Liv morgan here don't like that head skull but this cody is also cool with the hoodie i think that looks really cool they dude I, just, I i don't know i'm excited for basics man look at this crazy seth rollins basic doing this big boot or i don't know what the hell that is but you know what i mean so these look pretty good man pretty cool display you have uh, the I'm Your Mommy basic Rhea there with the old head sculpt, Python Power, Hulk Hogan. So, yeah, we have some pretty cool basic and main event figures in the middle. And finishing it up, man, we do have the Monday Night Wars case over here, man. And this was a big reveal. We have DDP in his skinny jeans with a rib wrap. Something that I was legitimately talking to people about the other day, and they actually put it in the line. I didn't expect that, so I was very excited to see this. This is a beautiful. I love the formula. I love the way he looks. I love the head sculpt. Fantastic DDP. Probably the best DDP figure ever made, I will say. And then you have Harlem Heat behind there. Glad to see those in person. You have Fake Diesel over here. And then we also have the Disciple in the build figure And then we have, damn, Johnny Gargano Syndrome RVD, man. Look at the sickness that we see. 
you see the sickness. So that sucks, but I do like the gear. I'm gonna fix him up. We'll put him in surgery. We'll get him going, but I'm still hyped to see it. And then we do have Triple H to finish up that set or this side of the ring over here for the Monday Night Wars. And then right here, we do have the Monday Night Wars Ultimate Edition Eddie Guerrero with the Cruiserweight title. He looks really good. I love the updated skin tone. I think it's way more accurate. He looks very, very clean. So loving the Eddie Guerrero. You have Eric Bischoff back there, Kevin Nash with the watch. You have Teddy Long, the build-up figure back there with the Curse Rey Mysterio figure. Mr. Perfect, which is a new reveal for Series 4, I think. You have Series 3 Rock with the meme head sculpt. We have the Ultimate Edition Mankind from the Monday Night War set, which looks way better in person. I like the shirt and the looseness and everything. Got Mr. Socko, removable mask. On this side of the ring, we do have the Harlem Heat Chase figures in blue. We have Big Boss Man, which I imagine is going to be in Series 4. And then we have Stone Cold Steve Austin with the iconic shirt, the black jorts, or the black shorts, which is something I've been praying for forever finally getting it here in the monday night war set I i'm just blown away i'm so happy to have this figure i love the shirt it just looks amazing i'm so damn thankful for that figure it looks incredible and then i'm guessing the build a figure for this set will be commissioner hbk here a very good figure i love the black suit i love that it's going to be like this gray turtleneck and this head sculpt looks good from the ultimate edition the cowboy hat so i'm dude that austin may have won the weekend i'm so happy i just hope that the legs aren't loose like his others but it is pinless i'm kind of scared but we'll live with the we'll live with all that but then we also have the chase ddp here which is going to be in darker pants than the lighter jeans i definitely like the lighter jeans i don't know which one's the chase and which one's regular i'd imagine this is the chase and the darker jeans but i am glad to get both there but that is our Monday Night Wars case that we have here on display at WrestleMania 40. Pretty epic stuff, man. And again, we do have more reveals coming tomorrow that we'll have to plug into a video and make our own walkthrough. So we'll probably get a new walkthrough every day with each set of reveals. But we also have our retros over here. And all these look good. We have the new set with Isaac Yankum, Shawn Michaels. You have Alundra Blaze. You have British Bulldog. And then we have all the other sets that we've seen. You do have Brother Love, though, over here, which is new, which I do like. I like the sculpts and everything. You got another set in the ring back there. I don't know why the hell my phone's not focusing, but nonetheless, we do have some retros here. Not the most immaculate display, but they do all look good up next to each other in the ring, of course, as well. And then you have the DX set there in the back. All right, man, we're wrapping things up with the Superstars case right here. And again, we are going to have more reveals, but we do have the newest set with Hulk Hogan and Doink. We have Muhammad Ali. We do have Brutus the Barber Beefcake. We got Scott Hall in here, which is beautiful. The British Bulldog, Kane, Tatanka, and Kurt Angle. And then we wrap it up with Big Boss Man. So pretty solid here, man, but that is everything that we have, man. So. Uh, just wrapping it up here with the Superstars case. That pretty much wraps up our coverage for Thursday at WrestleMania 40 at the Superstore, man. Had a ton of fun. Got to meet Cody Rhodes actually today. Tomorrow is going to be amazing and swell. I'm really excited, man, but that is going to wrap up our coverage, man. I'd love to know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. I will see you guys in the next video. A huge shout out to the patron members. Love those guys so very much, man. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. Have a blessed one. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on My Damn Toys. I'm getting out of here, man. I am exhausted. I might just go pass out. I love you.